Bonjour à tous et à toutes, je suis Tenko et je suis ici pour vous présenter un nouvel épisode du Walkthrough de Retour vers le futur. Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Uh -huh. Hill Valley destroyed my fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story. Am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall. You and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals hey. to... You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Hayesville Herald. Two months' worth if you shoot those fellows. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. Merci, William. Il faut retourner en 1876. There's Beauregard Tannen's half-finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back, you go through the front. Got it. Allons-y. Ah bah voilà l'enseigne. Toute neuf. I think I liked it better on the outhouse door. <laughs> I'd better not get too close. Who's there? Edna, stop. It's just me. Mr. Sagan, what are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same question, Miss Pickford. Isn't it obvious? I'm putting an end to your den of iniquity before it starts. I don't think so, Mary. I don't like shooting women, but no one comes between Beauregard B. Tannen and his livelihood. Tannen, stop! If you shoot her, she'll drop the torch and this whole place will burn up. Edna, stop! If you drop that torch, he'll shoot us! Looks like we're at something of a standoff here, Mr. Tannen. I don't see a way out, unless somebody manages to disarm both of you at the same time. How the hell am I supposed to do that? Maybe I could jump him. Peut-être pas. Hang in there, Doc. If I don't figure out some way of dousing that flame, Edna's gonna burn down the town. Edna is vraiment stupide. Chandelier's right over their heads. That's gotta be useful somehow. Et euh, oui, y a un tableau. Dolores Miskin? Ça ressemble beaucoup à. Ça ressemble beaucoup à Trixie. Bon, c'est qu'un détail, mais. On peut pas vraiment savoir euh, si, si c'est sa mère ou quelque chose dans le genre, finalement. Mary. Was that a mouse? What's the matter, Miss Pickford? Scared of a little mouse? No, but you should be scared. Mice carry diseases. It's a fact. Look it up. Il y avait longtemps. I wonder what's in these. No, stop quiet! God! What 
the hell? Oh, cow crap. There goes all my pickled pig's feet. Parfois, il y a certains dialogues qui, qui sont assez amusants, qui se déclenchent, mais si je clique sur quelque chose au même moment, en fait, le dialogue disparaît. Why are you dressed like that? I wasn't planning on visiting the 19th century today. And I wasn't planning on shooting a couple of lunatics today. Guess life's full of surprises, ain't it? <laughs> Man, this thing is not uh, right. Oui, non, c'est pas tout de suite. It's right over his head, but I can't knock him out while Edna is still holding that torch. Bon, tout à l'heure, ce que je ferai, c'est que euh, avant de déclencher la scène finale, je ferai un, une séance, une séance spéciale pour écouter les dialogues. Looks like your torch is getting a little dim there, Miss Pickford. It's still hot enough to bring down this little bit of Gamora, Tannen. <sighs> All right, physics. Maybe we can come to a more peaceable solution, Mr. Tannen. Keep your distance, fancy pants. I don't know you from Adam. But that won't stop me from putting you in a box next to your crazy girlfriend. I'm not his girlfriend. <laughs> non, je vais les écouter un certain temps et après on déclenchera la scène finale. A hundred years from now, Hill Valley will erect a statue in my honor. If you go through with this, there won't be a Hill Valley a hundred minutes from now. Say, that's a lovely chandelier you've got there, Tannen. Is it French? French? No, I got it off a wagon that had the misfortune of being robbed the week before I struck it rich in Nevada City. What kind of odds will you give me that I can disarm you and douse the young lady's torch simultaneously? About the same odds that you can walk out of here without getting a shot to the gut, stranger. Are you here to haul me back to 1931 for my supposed crimes? Or is there some sort of time court for that kind of thing? Time court? What in the name of Ulysses S. Grant is she talking about? Mary Pickford? Don't tell me that you're not traveling through time under a pseudonym, Mr. Carl Sagan. Quit yammering, you two! Nothing worse than a chatty standoff. Reprenons l'enregistrement ici. Donc, euh, après ces petites. Euh, ces petites. Euh, ces petits passages de dialogue, si, si on peut dire, nous allons nous occuper de faire ce qu'il y a à faire. Pour désarmer les deux personnes en même temps, c'est-à-dire Edna Strickland et Beauregard Tannen. Hmm. Alors attendez. Euh... Normalement il y a un truc. Si je fais ça, est-ce que c'est possible Oui. Voilà, c'est ça. What was that noise What noise I didn't hear a noise. Maintenant, faut que je redescende. Are you here to haul me back tonight? Hop. Faut faire bouger la planche. Okay, that was lucky. Won't be long now. We'll just see. Any last words? I'll see you in hell, Tannen. You first, lady. Come on, you son of a. Ha! <gasps> the hell are you? 
I'm the diversion, butthead. Nice one, Doc. Don't tell Clara. She thinks Fisticuff set a bad example for the boys. Now, where's Edna? Doc, she's gone. Edna's DeLorean. We gotta stop her before she hits any miles per hour. Come on! Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé cette vidéo et à bientôt pour la suite du walkthrough de Retour vers le futur.